Sairam, we have still children coming in. And uh, as soon as everyone comes, I will, I will start taking that Google form test. It's a quiz. And remember to write the correct capital letter, small letter. And also that the answers will be either two, three letters, uh, words only. It will not be in the sentence form. We have almost 20 children now. We'll wait for another two, three minutes. By then, you can just revise. After the test, we will go for the Tata Edge, the grammar which we were doing that day, the previous period. Before we, before we start, just check whether you have entered from your account. Because it is compulsory that you enter from your account. And not from your father's or some other relative's account. Only then that Google form will open. I think all of you are almost there. So now here I present the screen and then uh, I will send you a link on the chat box which you will click and then you will have your test paper, a small quiz of five questions. Okay. So here it is. I sent you the link in the chat box. Just click on it and start your test. The time is 2.5. By 2.10, your Google form should be over. Am I audible, Puja? Yes, ma'am. OK. Desha, then please check whether your it is your the email with ID which we have given the school one. Because if you have uh, on the right hand side there is a switch button, just check whether it is your father's account or your you know, anyone else, your mother's or someone. Only in that case this problem comes. Nikunj, is yours opening? Did you open the link? Okay, it's your account. Then why is not opening? Should I send it once again? I'm sending it once again. Just check.
one second. This time you try, Adisha. This third time I've sent it. The rest of you are doing the paper. Be very careful with your answer because I. I'll ask someone what's the problem in yours. Why is not showing? not working. Anyone else who is having this problem? You can write in the chat box. I hope your internet is good. Okay, Nikunj is saying it's working now. Okay. The yes ma'am is for what? Krishna and Tanisha? Is it opening Tanisha? No, ma'am. Uh, Nikunj, how did you open? Just explain to them. Ma'am, I just copied the link and uh, pasted it on the Google browser. Okay. The others can do in that way then. What he's saying, Nikunj. Copy it and do it on the Google browser. Anyone who's done it can write done in the chat box. If you've done the form, and remember you will attempt only once. Because I will come to know which child has attempted it. Okay, I'm resending it, the Google form. The link has been sent again. Some children are having problem with the internet and they have just joined. If you have finished the, with the form, you can write done in the chat box. I think sufficient time has been given. Should I stop the time? Yes, Akshita is the first one. She has written done, ma'am. Path done. Good. If you attempt twice, then your first marks will be considered. Nikunj done. Very good. And please be fair. Devang done. Good. Ranjal done, Akshay done, another two minutes and then I'll, your time is over after two minutes.
you can see in the responses also nandini great she's done i'll be showing you your score also In the meantime, I'll just take your attendance. Thanks, children are still. Yes, I can resend. That Disha, just a minute. Pooja done, Rudraksh done. I'll just wait for two minutes because Adyesha is attempting the paper. Here I am again presenting my screen. Now we'll discuss the answers. I have only twelve responses. Why did others not do it? Then. Okay. Here you will see the spreadsheet now. This is the spreadsheet. Is it visible? These are the names of the children who have submitted the forms, and these are the answers. Here you can see where you were wrong, and Akshita. And Rudraksh has go have got full marks. Even Parth has got full marks. Okay, Yogesh eight, Pranjal six, Akshay eight, Sartha Puja. It was for the first time. It was a good attempt. Nikunj, is it visible to you? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So this is how we take the Google form. Any other teacher took it in the class? Yes, ma'am. With yes, ma'am. Which subject? Science. Okay, how? So, I guess I must do mathematics. Ma'am, oh. yeah. Good, good. And who takes mathematics? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Fine. If you see here, individual, individual, the first ones like the like this we have name Nandini, and uh, you can see the score also four out of ten. Uh, and you can see the mistakes where you have done here also uh, we had done like if any the full stop is not there you have to feed it so i had given both the options ranchi one without full stop and one with full stop okay some bacche kuch bhi likh sakte ye wala bhi likh sakte ya ye wala bhi likh sakte ye dono answers lega but yes i want r capital if the r is small then you get zero Here it is. This Chunni Lal, the answer, isn't it? A specialist. Okay. The word meanings were there. Like this. If I see the next one, <coughs> sorry. This is Devang. He could not score. Probably he wasn't prepared. I see the next one. Here you have ten out of ten, Akshita. She had written all correct. 
See, it's written in the bracket. Write the answer in one word. So the answer is one word. It was given already. And these are your marks, two out of two. Where did he advise him to go? Ranchi. Who was uh, Paresh Chandra? He was a specialist. And here you have this word meaning. Okay. So we can come back to the meet now. And as I'm still presenting, um, Adisha, have you done your paper? I hope it still shows you need permission. Okay. Then I think you can talk to one of your classmates over here how they did it. Okay, anyway, better luck next time. Here now, after this, we will continue with our Tata Edge classes. We were doing grammar, isn't it? Kinds of pronouns we were doing. And we were on which page? Anyone remembers? In this one, which one were we doing? Any idea, Parth? Akshita, do you remember what we were doing the previous period in Tata Edge? Mom, we learned rules of. Oh, uh, these only na, kinds of uh, pronouns? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll say, see the first video, then you remind me where we were. Here's an excerpt from a news report. Did we do this one? Are you sure we were doing pronouns or something else? No, ma'am. Or prepositions? Ma'am, I think we were doing adjectives. Adjectives? Yes, ma'am. Superlative and that one. Okay, okay. Uh, fine. I'll search for that then. I think we were doing conjunctions. So here it doesn't seem to show which one. So we will start with the verbs today. lunch. Before lunch, she was playing in the park. After lunch, she will be completing her school project. Notice that each sentence describes an action that is not yet completed at a particular time. To show that an action is not yet over at a given point in time, you use continuous tenses. Continuous tenses have present, past, and future forms. Let's learn more about continuous tenses. Let's take a look at some rules for forming continuous tenses and using these tenses correctly. 
you can use the present continuous tense to denote an action that is going on. This sentence, for instance, indicates that the action of sleeping is happening now. So, the present continuous tense, is sleeping, is used here. When using the present continuous tense, you add the correct form of the verb be, such as is, am, or are, with the ing form of the verb. As we know that is, am, and are are the different forms of the word be. Here it is present, all are present, and plural with i it is am, and with any singular this one, it is is. You could also use this tense to refer to activities that are happening at present, but not necessarily at this very moment. For instance, this sentence does not necessarily mean that Sunny and Sara are practicing at this very moment. It just means that their practice is currently in progress. This is another place where we use present tense, but it doesn't mean that at this moment also they're doing. It means in general they're using it that nowadays they're doing practice. You could also use the present continuous tense for activities that are planned for the near future. For instance, in this sentence, the action of going to a concert will happen the next day. But we use the present continuous tense to indicate. So here, something that you're going to do in the future also you can use. We are going to concert tomorrow or we are having a holiday tomorrow. Isn't it? So in such places also you can use present continuous. The present continuous tense is also used to denote a recurrent event or habitual action. For example, in this sentence, the continuous present tense used with the adverb always shows that raining is a recurrent event in a particular part of the country. Similarly, in the next sentence, the continuous present tense and the adverb forever shows how complaining about the weather is a habitual action of Joseph. Here are some more examples of sentences using the present continuous tense. Habitual means something you do uh, at regular intervals like daily or some after a few hours, something of that sort. Which ha habit mein hoti, usko kehte habitual. You use the past continuous tense to denote an action that was going on at a particular point in the past. Let's look at a couple of examples. What were you doing yesterday evening? I was playing cricket with my friends. In this sentence, the action of playing was happening at a particular time in the past. So, the past continuous tense is used here. Where were you going at 8 a.m.? I was going to school. In this sentence too, the action was happening at a particular point in the past. So, the past continuous tense is used here. Notice that the past continuous tense is formed by using was and were with the ing form of the verb. You can also use the past continuous tense to denote an action that was taking place in the past before another action occurred. For instance, here the action of cooking was already in progress before the other action occurred. See, the, here it's written that my mother was cooking when Tuffy jumped on the table. That means they're telling about an incident when the dog jumped over the uh, kitchen slab and my mother what was she doing she was cooking so in such places also you used past continuous the past continuous tense is also used to show two simultaneously continuing actions in the past for instance 
Here, the actions of sleeping and digging were taking place simultaneously in the past. Here are some more examples of the past continuous tense. Anyone who can read this? Yes. Yes, Vita, read. It Tell is. Ma'am Radhika. Okay. The continuous, the past continuous tense denotes an action that was, that was going on at a particular point in the past. It is also used to show two simultaneously, simultaneously con continuing Thank actions in the past. She was watching television. The man was driving over the speed limit when he was stopped by the police. They were working at the office while the children were playing in the park. Good. Very good, Radhika. Thank you, Radhika. See, if you see this, these are connecting sentences. The connecting means, I mean, two actions are being happening. They were working at the office while the children, the usi time, jab ye work kar rahe the office mein, bachche park mein khel rahe the. The two actions are going on parallel. You use the future continuous tense to denote an action that will be in progress at a point in the future. For instance, here, the action of boarding will be taking place the next day, that is, in the future. So, the future continuous tense is used here. Notice the structure of the future continuous tense. It is formed by adding will be to the ing form of the verb. The future continuous tense can also be formed by adding am, is, or are, and going to be to the ing form of a verb. Here are some more examples of the future continuous tense. Yes. So here, uh, one of the boys, Pranjal, can you read it? The, only these three sentences. Yes, ma'am. I will be traveling to Mumbai next month. They will be work, working all through the night. All through, Are the, you go, all all through, through the night. Are you going to be wait for them at the airport tonight? Okay, this is a question. Are you going to be waiting? It's waiting, okay? Are you going to be waiting for them at the airport tonight? And the previous one, if you see, they will be working all through the night. Through the night, when something goes, uh, pierces, pierces something, isn't it? Like the ball went through the window. But here, it through means they will be working all through the night. Okay? Let's see how continuous tenses are used in everyday conversations. Ah, there you are. I am cleaning this mess in the kitchen. Will you please help me? There it is. Present sentence. She is cleaning this. What happened here? I was making dinner as usual and the children were playing football outside. So see, two actions are being done. One, she was when she was cooking, at the same time the children were playing football. You can see here also. I was boiling the eggs when there was a loud thud in the balcony. Here, I was boiling. Here it Before is. I knew it, a ball bounced into the kitchen. This is past continuous. Oh, the children are always playing football as if they are at a tournament. They kick the ball so hard. Yes, the ball was rolling all over the kitchen till the children came in to look for it. I was 
watching the ball, knock over almost all the food I had prepared. Well, I guess we will be ordering food from a restaurant today in that case. We'll be ordering. That means he's, they still haven't ordered because the food has all got spoiled. The man is saying that now I guess that we will be ordering. We will order karna padega. We will order karenge. Abhi nahi kiya. So this is a future continuous tense. Yes. But first, we are asking the children to help clean up. Right now, they have gone to wash up. Okay. Okay. I am going to be cleaning the floor. Look, there are stains on the curtains too. This is also future. If I you use am, so I am going to be cleaning. Yes, I will be taking them down to get them washed. Don't worry. This place will soon be looking like a kitchen again. Again, the usage of future tips. Nice activity. Let's now take a short quiz to test all that you have learned so far about continuous tenses. Complete the sentence by choosing the correct continuous tense. Select the correct option and then click Submit. Okay, I'll tell the name. And, yes. First, tell your name and uh, then the answer. I'm Pranjal. Okay. Um, I will be visit, visiting my grandparents next week. They live in a small town in Kerala. Okay. So you used which tense? Just mention the tense also. Ma'am, future continuous. Very good. Future continuous. Excellent. The future continuous form will be visiting is used to indicate that the action of the speaker who will be going to Kerala to meet his or her grandparents will take place at a point in the future. That is, next week. Next week means it still has to come. Okay, now where's the next one? Identify the continuous tense used in this sentence. Select the correct option and then click Submit. Okay, what's the name? Ma'am, Tanisha. Okay, Tanisha, try. Ma'am, future continuous. Uh, this is, yes, obviously this is future continuous. Good, Tanisha. Excellent. Will uh, now is the boy's chance and uh, try not to repeat. Okay. Complete the sentence by choosing the correct continuous tense. Select the correct option and then click submit. It's boy's chance. Ma'am. Ma'am Nikonj. Ma'am will be leaving. Okay, will be leaving. And uh, the, you read the whole sentence along with it. The football team will be leaving for France tomorrow. Excellent. The continuous tense will be leave. Complete the sentence by choosing the correct continuous tense. Select the correct option and then click submit. Uja. Radhika, Nandini, anyone? Akshita? Ma'am, Radhika. Okay. Ma'am, will be conducting. Uh, read it with the sentence. The school will be conducting the text test next week. Excellent. The Great. Identify the verb that is in the future continuous tense. Click the correct option and then click submit. You, only one sentence is completely right. You have to identify it. Read it carefully. This is for the boys.
मैम यस बेटा यस बेटा हम आर यू पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द स्कूल एथलेटिक मीट दिस ईयर आर यू पार्टिसिपेटिंग द थर्ड ऑप्शन ओके दैट्स नॉट करेक्ट ओके uh so now i'm passing it over to the uh, uh, yes any other boy ma'am rudraksh yes ma'am okay beta uh, will you participate in the school athletic meet this year okay that's not oh, correct do it think about how ma'am will you be participating yes will you be participating in the school at excellent will you be participating is in the future continuous tense the question is formed using will plus the subject you plus the present tense of the verb to be plus the ing form of the main verb Fill in the blanks with the correct continuous tense to complete the meaning of each sentence. For each blank, select the correct option from the drop-down list and then click submit. Girls, Adisha, do you want to try this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is the drop-down list. Our family will be going on a holiday to the seaside the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be packing our clothes and we no no ma'am. Again, yes, I think it's right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. our mother our mother will be putting together some food and snacks for the journey together we we are going to enjoy our holiday okay Excellent. Wow. You have identified the continuous tenses correctly. Great. Fill in the blanks with the correct continuous tense to complete the meaning of each sentence. For each blank, select the correct option from the drop-down list and then click submit. part you want to try yes ma'am okay start reading start reading from here this industries industries on the banks of river is polluting the river uh the industries but it is plural Are polluting the river. Mm-hmm. The environmental activities. Not activities. It is activist. Activist होते हैं जो वहाँ काम करते हैं लोग. Are protesting. Yes. Against the pollution of the river, they. It's here tomorrow. From this tomorrow, you should understand what density. Mm. Will be holding. Okay, let's see. Excellent. You have identified the continuous tenses correctly. Great, great, class. Excellent. Now this is over, and it's almost time also. So here I am. Just one second. I just log off. Logouts. Where are we supposed to logout? Ah, uh, how do we log this out? Anyone? Does anyone remember?
How do we log this out? In the class, we used to do it, no? But here, how do you do it? Back in the meeting, stopping the presentation. Okay, so I hope you liked today's class. Just remember that we had done uh, what did we do today? Topic was Verbs. continuous tenses. So, yeah, continuous tenses. Okay, so I hope uh, next time remember that and we'll take some other topic then. Or we'll do one thing next week, uh, we'll start with supplementary. We'll have a combination of things. So next time you just bring your supplementary textbooks, okay? Then after that week we will again come to grammar, okay? Then we'll come back to the main textbook. We'll do it in that manner, okay? Okay, bye then. Now you can leave one by one. Sairam. 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 Bye. Sairam, ma'am. Sairam.